Blessed be the name of the Lord our God for his glorious name. It is a new dawn in the church, the body of Christ, in Lagos State in particular, in Nigeria at large. We are aware that as the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ draws nearer, Satan and his cohorts have doubled their effort in the quest to assail the Church of Christ and pull more people to hell. To be assured that the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. God is visiting his people with a new wave of spiritual awakening and unprecedented revival that will empower the church for the challenges of this end time. It is such a revival that will pour us to effectively fulfill Christ's mandate of world evangelization and get believers ready for heaven. We must arise. Set aside all denominational barriers and inhibitions and respond to the Spirit's call for this crisis hour. And really, it is a crisis hour. A while ago, we had a Minister's Development and Networking Summit, an event that brought together about 20,000 ministers from all denominations in Lagos area. It was not just for the sake of gathering, but for edification equipping and empowerment. The summit delivered on its promise as it is already yielding positive results. To sustain this momentum, we have decided to leverage on these positive developments by putting in place networking support programs that aim at further integrating and empowering the body of Christ. The convener of the summit and our Father in the Lord Pastor W. F. Kumui, a distinguished Bible scholar, revered and renowned teacher and mentor, whose ministry has been a tremendous blessing to the body of Christ around the whole world, has volunteered to put in time, financial, and spiritual resources to help in this regard. And isolation brings insulation. We can't get to you, you can't get to us. You are insulated, you are isolated. But the Himaya began ways interaction. And that's what has brought us together here. Interaction. Give me your hand. I give you my hand. Give me your vision. I give you my vision. The visions are the same. And the one that casts the vision, Jesus, the same. The same Bible, the same God, the same Lord, the same heaven, the same salvation, the same redemption. Why haven't we interacted until this time? Number one, interaction. You and your church stand to benefit immensely from these networking support programs. The first one is the church-based networking support program designed to stimulate a new revival and growth among the clergy and the laity across churches. Pastor Kumuyi has agreed to be hosted from church to church throughout the local government areas in Lagos on a weekly basis in the coming months. Glory be to God. The program will hold every Wednesday at 6 p.m. starting from 10th July 2019. Every edition will be hosted by a different church in another LGA and will be transmitted real time to all connected churches across the land. Your church can take advantage of this to draw traffic, lead people to Christ and retain them in the church. That's the goal. You may contact your current local government chairman to know how to key into this great program. Another networking support program that will beneficial to your church is the leadership development program that is designed for church and ministry leaders and we need leaders in the church of Christ the program is a hands-on training that is packed with such spiritually enriching content that will fortify every participant with necessary knowledge skill and empowerment for successful God honoring ministry Church leaders also have opportunity for useful interaction and networking. And this program will take place every Tuesday at 5 p.m. starting from 9th July 2019 
at the main auditorium of Deeper Life Bible Church headquarters at Bagada in Lagos. These are golden opportunities that the Lord has dropped on our laps at this auspicious time in our generation. We can use them to attain personal and church growth. It is time to awake to the challenges of the hour. It is time to consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. May the Lord find us faithful in Jesus' name. God bless you all.